everyone, it's Janet here with the Design Team Project for the Piece by Piece that can be found at www.thepiecebypiece.com and I'll put the links all to everything down below. And this project is for a swap that I'm in. It's a tea party swap and one of the things that we were to do was to alter a teacup. And it's kind of hard to do because the teacups are so pretty on their own. I was kind of afraid to get started with it, but I just uh, used a lot of Beverly's wonderful trims and resin pieces, and I was so happy with the way it turned out. So I started with this little teacup, and I put some little beaded trim. I just kind of scalloped it around, all the way around the whole teacup, like that. So I started with that. Um, I also glued, it has a little pedestal on there, and I glued each of those three pieces down to the plate with glossy accents because I didn't want it moving. I wanted it to be all one piece. So then over here, I used a couple of Beverly's flowers, these flowers here. I also have some inside the teacup and also some of the white inside the teacup. So those are really fun to use. Um, they make great um, fillers, like I wanted this to be pushed forward and the same I wanted this part to be up. So it was great filler and then it's really pretty also. So that works really well. And then on top of that flower, I have a flower that I made out of the beautiful, this beautiful trim here. I just love this trim so pretty. She has it in several colors. So I just made a little flower out of that trim. Two layers on that. And then on top of that I have one of her little heart buckles. And on top of that, like Van first showed us how to do, it's a great idea, I used the inside of the heart of this trim for going over the little buckle. And then I have a little gold teaspoon here. It even has a teapot on the edge. So I put a, a little lace behind it to also stick it up and then also a piece of lace on the end of this spoon which is this lace here, beautiful lace. And then on top of that I put some Wild Orchid Craft Rosebuds here with a little ribbon and then this is some of Beverly's beaded pink trim. I don't have, I used it all up. but. Anyway, it's a little beaded trim that Beverly sells, and I just lined the top of the spoon with that, put a little skinny velvet ribbon around the top here, and then inside the cup I have those rosette flowers, and back here I have a bow made out of this, oh, it's just so dainty and gorgeous, this trim right here is so beautiful. So I just made a bow, because I wanted it to look good from every angle put a flower on top of that and I also wanted to cover the back of the resin frame so I put another piece of that lace here and some of her little crystals there that's from this these are the candy gems I believe but I just put a little sprig right there and lace and so that kind of filled in that gap back there so that worked out really well and then I used one of her resin frames and this is the frame in a different color, but I used the pink and then I used some of the Victorian Velvet Tim Holtz Distress ink around the edges and I just printed out Time for Tea on a little piece of paper on my printer and I put that in it. And then in front of that I used one of the, the new crystal flowers that she's selling. These are so pretty and it looks so dainty inside of there. And then behind that, I have a lavender sachet tea bag that I made. And I'll show you how I made that. And on top of that tea bag, I have a piece of this gorgeous trim. I have that glued on to right onto the tea bag. So I made this tea bag, and there's the string, and then there's a piece there. So I'll show you how I made that. But that is the teacup. And how I made the tea bag is if you just take a regular tea bag like this. This is just a Lipton tea bag on a string. And I took um, a piece, one of them apart, and I think it's about six inches long. The tea bag that I put in the cup I actually made a little bit bigger because I just felt like the wide mouth of the cup needed a little bit bigger one than this size. So if you can see it's just a tube that's 
sewn on the edge, but you could probably just um, glue it with fabric glue. And then it's folded in half with one edge a little longer than the other edge. And then it's folded again to make that little pleat at the bottom. And then it's just like that and stapled. So you start out with a strip of fabric and you sew it together and this is your strip and so it's very very simple to do but like I say you could probably glue that if you wanted and I used a piece of sheer it's kind of a shiny sheer fabric so I used that and then on this one I put some of Beverly's trim this trim right here on top of it so this is just a smaller version so after I made my tube I went ahead and ironed it into the shape with the pleat at the bottom and then I filled it with lavender buds inside of there and then I fold it over the top and the staple isn't this the fabric is pretty thick so the staple really wasn't enough to just hold the whole thing together so I, I did a little stitching hand stitching right back here to hold it all together and then I just used some twine and this is a piece from the girls papery that I used as a tag so really easy to make and you could make any size and make um, large ones but they make really nice sachets because you do have the lavender buds so very nice I hope everyone enjoyed my little teacup it's going to be hard to let it go I just love tea parties and teacups and I really was happy with the way it turned out it's the first time I've ever done one of these so anyway I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, make sure you check out Beverly's store and thanks so much for watching and leaving comments. Bye!